I already coach people for free within Finance Geek Ministry. You just have to be willing to do the work that's involved. Now, typically, if you have no job, you have more time, all right? That's typically the case. So free financial service, right? That's what that will entail. So it'll be course, live session or sessions and one-to-one -one consulting, coaching. I already do all of this. Now I'm just being more targeted. Anyone that falls in this, I'm not going to really quote unquote qualify people. My qualifications already in the, the effort that you must go through in order to get my time, receive my time for a free one-to-one. -one. So I already have kind of barriers and, and things in place to avoid people taking advantage of me because it, it happens. That's the reality. I, no matter how much any one of us in here starts building a business and we want to help people, right? We want to do the right stuff. There's always someone that's going to be wasting your time, right? So as a business owner, you want to put barriers in place to really weed those people out. And the best way to do it is give them work, right? So it's like, sure, you need help. Got it. You're negative cash flow. You just lost your job. So you need help financially to help you make the next best move. Got it. Send me your numbers. Give me your mission statement, your vision. What's your goals? What's your desires, right? Who's your three closest allies, right? Just give them a list of questions, a list of work to do. 90% of the time, they won't do it. Then you're just left with the serious people who actually need the help, want the help, willing to do anything to get out of that financial situation. Here's the other reality. There's people in this world, there's people in this planet that like to be poor. It might be your own family, okay? That's the reality. It might be your own friend. It might be you, okay? That's the reality. Some of us really like to be poor. You won't say it, but nor will your action produce a different result. You choose to complain, be comfortable, all these different things. And then one day, like one day, someone says something and it's like a light bulb goes off. For me, the light bulb that went off in my head almost nine, almost 10 years ago was when I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. A light bulb went off. Read that book, I got chills, sparks. I'm like, oh my God, I've had a poor dad all my life. Where's my rich dad? And that was the initial spark from there. Obviously you see what you see today and, I'm, and I haven't even gotten started yet, okay? Now, if you have not experienced that light bulb moment yet a crisis might force it so again a crisis is an opportunity but when you're in the crisis it's it's going to be negative situation right you're in a negative cash flow you lost your job you're going into more debt your credit is tanking things are late so it's going to be a, a bad environment somewhere you don't want to be for for you personally you may have you may need to go there in order for your light bulb to go off. For me, all I needed was the knowledge. All I needed was to read the right book, hear the right words. I didn't need to go hit rock bottom. After working with over a thousand plus families of all walks of life, there's, there's people that really don't need a whole lot of motivation for them to just like go run. Others need to go to 57 different conferences, read 100,000 different books on personal development, watch a thousand hours of content on personal development, motivation, inspiration, aspirations, they still don't take action.